Jack Hermanson. First five round fight in the UFC for him. As he meets the division staple, right, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. Hermanson opens with a low kick on Souza. Hermanson was on his way to visit his family in Sweden after that David Branch win a few weeks ago when the call came in. How about Souza? How about a main event? And Hermanson right back to Norway to resume training. You can see. Jock Ray loaded with that right hand. He's ready to swing it. Wait for Hermanson to take one step forward and then just chuck that right hand. Jock Ray able to sniff out that offering from Hermanson who lands a big right and a counter right from Souza. Guys are awake now. Now that they've been punched, they'll be awake. <laughs> nice stiff jab from the underdog, Jack Hermanson, plus 175 tonight. Powerful kick. Yep. Hermanson, six and two in the UFC. He has finished his last five UFC wins. Now goes to the inside of the leg. Souza with a couple right hands. First clinch situation here, and Hermanson breaks out with a nice knee to the body. Good body shots by Jacare early. Souza biding his time, waiting for a counter right potentially. Oh! Good short punches by Hermanson early. And Stay now to the guillotine. Work on that track. choke. On track guillotine. Jacare does the right thing. He passes, and he's setting his hip down so that he can't get the torque he needs to on the choke. Nothing there yet. It is tight though. That can, that is in. But Jacare making the right defense, getting his legs out of the equation. And he'll keep turning. He's got to be careful here. This is how you defend. He'll go. He'll take his back to the mat and he'll peel out. He'll wait for Hermanson to squeeze out his his arms. Wow! Souza escapes. And Hermanson immediately continues to apply pressure. That's been a go-to choke for Hermanson. Of course, the credentialed Souza able to get out of it. And that's and now for those people who have been caught by Hermanson. You understand how to defend an arm in guillotine. Watch that fight, that's how you do it. You turn your back to the mat, you peel them off with the mat. You don't stay on your knees. And Souza was quick to acknowledge Hermanson's submission game, the long arms, his chokes. But a good sign for Souza as he gets out here early. Souza looking for a judo throw here. That's why he's holding onto that lat of Hermanson there. He's waiting to chuck that right leg through the guard. Hermanson. Hermanson feels it though. Hermanson talked a lot about staying disciplined through all five rounds. He is off to a good start tonight, less than a minute to go here, round one. Great positioning here by Hermanson. I mean, the way he's got the body locked at the hips, it makes it so Jacare can't bend and get, get his body bent over to create some space. So he's standing straight up. And that allows Hermanson to trip him. So he's doing a good job going back and forth between trips, knees, clinch. This is what he does on the ground so well. He mixes in the strikes to his control. And now he's doing it on his feet up against the fence. Nice body shot and now a good right hand over the top for Souza.
Manson doing just a little bit more. He's just faking a little bit more. He's jabbing a little bit more, just a little bit more tools. Jacare. Little tiny short shots right in the pocket, exactly the way you're told to throw them when somebody loads up their punches. Picture perfect boxing, and here's the choke attempt. It's in there. Jacare turns the hip to the mat, turns his back to the mat. As you're seeing here, he's trying to turn his back to the mat, and this helps him get out of the choke. All right, we are back with round two in 30 seconds. Stay with us. Jackie, you've got to respect his power now a little bit, okay? Let's go. Let's push it, okay? You're in shape. Hey, you want this. You want this bad, right? Go for it, baby. Go for it. Come on, baby. Don't let him touch you with his jab, okay? Yeah. Hey, tighten the overhand up. Don't open it up so much. Keep it tight. Respect. Coach. Let's keep on moving. Let's move more. Let's stay cool. Respect his power now, Jacare. Got to respect, let's do it. All right, back ready to go in round two. A lot of messaging in both corners. Julian Williams on the way out said to Jacare, you got to respect right, his power. You ready? You ready, sir? Let's go, fight. I think what he's saying is don't load your punches up and just walk into it. You got to set it up. Double jab your way in. Good counter right hand by Jacare. You just try to load up on Hermanson, he's gonna clip you with those short shots on the inside like you just saw. So that's the reason that happened is you see Jacare trying to hit so hard, it allows the openings through the middle. And a lot of what Hermanson says sounds like Israel Adesanya, the UFC Interim Middleweight Championship, when he talks about aiming and firing, right? Just touching you doesn't necessarily have to be full throttle with every land. Well, you see how Hermanson sticks a jab out. He'll double jab. He'll double jab, throw a kick, and then he'll piece the power shots to that. Right. Whereas Jacare is just looking for two or three super powerful shots. Well, Hermanson's beating him to the punch on the inside by getting inside the elbows and the guard. <clears throat> Jacare, when he's trying to be offensive. Big left hook lands for Jacare that time. So just to the body. Pretty good right hand counter from Hermanson. Heavy leather being landed on both sides now. One minute gone by round two. Nice timing on the takedown by Hermanson. Caught the kick, went for it. Here he is. No Here's hesitation. what we wanted to see. The guard of Jacare, the ground and pound and top game of Hermanson. As you have suggested, Souza, the best off of his back in the middleweight division. Hermanson in this situation may be with the best top game. A lot of middleweights would certainly argue that point, but... Realistically, in the in the jujitsu game, if it was just plain jujitsu, Jacare does like the top position. He can use his guard, but he likes to be on top, just like Hermanson. And in a fight, I always say the top position is better because you're firing weapons at a lower opponent. So the question is, can Jacare offset that? Right now, closing his guard, just sitting here getting punched flat on his back. This is not how to utilize a guard if you're going to create offensive opportunities for yourself and try to get up. He needs to attack arm bars. He needs to get his hips to uh, his feet on the hips of Hermanson to create space. He needs to go with a high guard. All these things will help Jacare's case on the bottom here. Just the second time in 13 UFC fights that Souza has been taken down. Only other man to do it, Chris Weidman in his last fight at UFC 230, November 2018. Oh, nice elbow from Hermanson. This is what Hermanson wanted to do. He said he's going to close his guard. He's not going to open his guard. He's not going to do anything. So I'm just going to keep elbowing him and punching him and elbowing and punching him, and he'll stay there, and I'll keep doing that. And right now, you're seeing Jock Ray looking for some sort of off-balancing. He's stopping the striking, but this isn't really causing any kind of disruptions in, other than the offense of Hermanson. It's almost like a stall tactic right, here. to try to force a stand-up, potentially. Yep. And it's so hard to submit people from your back because we're so slippery here. And in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on its own, it's easier to set things up. But when you're getting elbowed and punched, this was Hermanson's point. Right. It kind of slows down the offensive attempts you can try because you're getting elbowed and punched. But a lot of fighters would have pause just to enter this situation with someone like Souza, not Hermanson. We saw a fight like this a long time ago. Chael Sonnen versus Anderson Silva. And what did we see at the end of that fight? Patience, 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 triangle. Don't right. forget that. Right. That's what right. jiu-jitsu is about. It's about commitment, 
Understanding you might be losing sometimes, but you just wait for your opening, and Jacare is one of the best at that. The question is, will you let the clock burn out for five rounds doing this, hoping that that opportunity comes, or are you gonna create the opportunity? I don't know. A lot of the top position time being accrued here by Jack Hermanson and staying busy enough for the referee, Dan Mergliata. In non-stop offense, this is just annoying to deal with if you're on bottom line. This guy hasn't stopped punching, he hasn't stopped moving, he hasn't stopped working. Punch in the body, punch in the head. Hasn't stopped being offensive since this fight started. Hermanson's got a crazy pace. It remains to be seen as to whether or not he can keep it up for the final 15 minutes. But certainly, the Swede slash Norwegian looking ready for prime time through about nine and a half minutes. Haven't seen much offense at all from the back of Jacare right here. For about three minutes, he's been on his back and he's just been trying to nullify the strikes. There hasn't been offensive attempts at all from the guard. Oh. Nice elbow by Hermanson. All offense has been Hermanson. Great ground control and discipline from Jack Hermanson. Might have won the first two rounds, round three. Coming up. We need breaths. We got three more rounds to go. Come on. You have to be a little bit simpler and efficient. Let's start moving more. See a nice catch in the kick, straight to a takedown, and then he just gets right to work. Big elbows. He catches the hands, comes over the top with the elbows. As we practiced in the demo, me and Tyron Woodley, you can see this exact sequence. I missed the demo, bro. Ask Tyron about it. <laughs> Who's getting elbowed? All right, third round. Let's go, gentlemen. Fight. So tremendous efficiency and output on the ground from Jack Hermanson there in round two. Right back to work here in round three of a possible five. Well, we told you off the top in terms of the efficiency and the accuracy of Jack Hermanson. How about the ground strikes? 104, by the way, on 110 attempts. So 95% of those offerings from Hermanson have found the desired location. Impressive. I mean, the way he keeps his balance in that top position while he throws his strikes is what's difficult to usually time. Good defense by Jacare. Gets his hips back. Let's see what he can do with this. Just defense. Nice body shot on the break. Good check of the kick, Jacare. Dom, you mentioned sort of the look on Souza's face at the beginning of round three. Maybe a little bit foggy still. Yeah, to me, it just looks like at the end of the rounds is when he looks the most disappointed. He almost just looks annoyed, like, what am I doing here? Why am I on my back? I don't know. It just He looks almost not present at the end of the rounds. But when he gets the fight started, when he's here, he's here. You see him. He's in this fight. He's not out of it. He just looks annoyed almost at the end of these rounds. Nice right hand by Jacare over the top. And he stuffed two takedowns, now rips the body of Hermanson. So pretty good start for Souza now round three. And I think what you're seeing is Jacare starting to get confidence because he's keeping Hermanson on his heels. Hermanson's slowing down just a little bit. He really is. Jacare's feeling it. Not as much hippity hoppity movement from, from Hermanson as there was in the first two. He's getting a little bit flatter and now they're starting to look more identical in their stand up. You see that? That's how you know Hermanson is a ground guy. As the fight moves on, he doesn't stay super comfortable in his stand up. He's there. But he wants these takedowns, and he wants that ground and pound. That is his gift, and he does it very, very well. Hermanson in perpetual motion, staying busy, works the body there. Sosa just out of range, Hermanson lands the counter. 
Manson waiting for Jacare to fire the two, and then he's landing uppercuts on the counters. He's just waiting for basically Jacare to overextend and lose his balance, and then he takes advantage of that. Ooh. Manson staying on the bike, keeping the jab pumping. Nice one two down the middle. Sosa trying to walk her Manson down, able to land that jab. Coming up on two minutes here to go in round three. Now, I can't believe we haven't seen any leg kicks from Jacare at all. Hermanson's knee is completely turned in and open for it, begging for a kick to the legs. Nice trip. The leg kick's just there for the take. A nice body shot comes over the top of the right hand. Oh! You see Jacare just heading off. Hermanson trying to keep him in a phone booth, trying to box him in. And then going to the body very nicely. He's wearing down Hermanson. Hermanson's getting tired from the body shots. They're adding up. Big reset from Jack Hermanson. Nice. I love that Jack Ray's making the adjustment to the body. That's slowing Hermanson down. You can see it. Look how red Hermanson's belly is. All right, well, the tide has turned. Trevor Whitman, what do you have, my man? I think the key here is going to the body. He's throwing, uh, uh, Jacques Ray is throwing at the head, and Hermanson's got very good distance and very good counters and good head movement. But every time he touches him to the body, he freezes him and he can find those head shots. I think that's the key to this fight if Jacques Ray wants to get the win. Coach Trevor Whitman, thank you very much. Under a minute here to go round three, Dom. Couldn't agree more with Trevor. I mean, that's exactly what I'm saying. And also, stop throwing at the head at all. Just punch at the chest and the neck because those things never move. And half the time, their head moves right. to where their chest was. Fire at the chest, fire at the belly, tear up the body. The head always moves, the body doesn't. Yeah, you don't hear a lot of announcers talk about chest or neck movement, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oy, big, big punch landed by Jock Ray. Good hook. Jock Ray needs to keep his chin down, hands up, though. Hermanson's still dangerous here. Hermanson got backed up by that right hand. 20 seconds now in the round. This is the power of Jock Ray we're seeing, but. He needs to keep his hands up and still respect Hermanson's power because he got hurt early. He needs to keep his hands up. This fight's going back and forth. Huge right hand. That's the power we're talking about. He just keeps ripping the body, body head, body head. Nice work by John. Oh! Lerner. Round three, Souza. Huge body shot by Jock Ray, and these are starting to add up the punch equity. You see him curl. Another one to the body, right to the gut, and then a nice right hand over the top. Anytime you beat up the body, the hands come down and the head opens up. Mm -hmm. Now, now, it's your turn. You're looking good now. Now you, you fought what you trained. That's that, let's keep on doing it. Simple and efficient. That's right, keep on leaving your hand on it. Now he's gonna try to take you down again. You have to have your legs well positioned, not let it take him down. Take him down. Jock, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. You need this round. Fifteen of a possible 25 minutes in the books. Strong start for Jack Hermanson. Rally by Souza in right, round three. Ready? Round four. And here we go. Of course, first time Hermanson has seen a fourth round in the UFC. Early shot from Jack. Nothing doing. Oh! That looked like an illegal knee from Souza potentially. It's hard to tell. Being told by the truck that the knee was off the ground. Barely. Looking at the back at it, that was a legal knee. Just close. The Jock Ray threw. Souza's got a chin on him. Big power shots from Hermanson. And Hermanson's Souza retreats. It on. Now Jacare lands. I mean, that 
That's a lot of offense by Hermanson. Wow. How about the volume from Hermanson here early in round four? And he's keeping the pressure, keeping the fade, still going. It's almost like that third round he took off so that he could pick up in four and five. He got a second win. Well, this is about the time in round three when Souza really started to turn it on. Nice little Superman offering there from Jack Hermanson. Hermanson would appear to be the fresher fighter here, potentially eight minutes to go. There are your numbers in terms of significant strikes, nearly twice as much volume and lands for Jack Hermanson. Starting to see the difference in the striking. It's one punches from Jacare, multiple combinations, movements, feints, and everything from Hermanson. And that's the difference right now. Hermanson's just putting a little bit more work into hiding his strikes with defense, whereas Jacare is waiting to just be offensive, and that's it. That's the difference in the stand-up that you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. Hermanson really moving well with that upper body defensively. And again, just touching him, right? Yep, he's just okay with just tap and tap, tap away until the big one's set up and then they land later. I mean, he's hurting Jacare at times. He's just not putting everything he has into every shot. And you see Jacare is doing that. So it's a little easier to see the, the shots coming. Big uppercut by, Jock, by Hermanson, excuse Finally me. Finally proof that Sosa's human, a little blood coming out of his nose. Under two minutes now in round four. Jock Gray seeming to take this fourth round off to prepare for the fifth. Two minutes is a long time. <laughs> Hermanson coming up on 350 total strikes thrown. He has landed north of 200. I mean, that's huge offense. Huge offense. For a middleweight. It's huge. I mean, the, the, the punch count that this dude lets, Ooh. lets go. Nice Some power shots, though, yeah, from Souza. Two straight. Hermanson on the bike. Last man to take Souza down more than once in a fight. Tim Kennedy in 2010. I mean, the pace, Hermansa just stays on the gas. Teeps to the body, jabs, moving the head, fakes. Jab, 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 jab. Yeah, he don't give you time for a deep breath or anything. Nope, it's non-stop offense. And it might not be all powerful, but the non-stop just grueling never ends. Kind of like Tony Ferguson a little bit. Yeah. Well, we've always talked about Hermanson's conditioning, but perhaps the fact that he had essentially back-to-back -back training camps, two fights inside of four weeks, has paid dividends, he continues to apply pressure. I mean, it's an insane amount of punches he's throwing. He's outstriking him two to one. Likely three to one Hermanson as we go to the fifth and final round. Very nice uppercut. I mean, the way that he loads it is beautiful. He look, makes it look like a right hand and he comes up the middle with an uppercut. He lands that uppercut twice on Jacques Ray. And as you see here, this is a nonstop flurry. And that's what this round looked like basically, is just flurries from Hermanson and then Occasional nice technical shots, just mixing up the strikes. Another uppercut lands. I mean, that was the shot for Hermanson. This round was that uppercut. This, we finish this round. We have to finish. Okay. Yeah. You have water. to cut, beat this guy now. You're losing your your hook. You gotta send it a little bit lower. Find the distance first. No matter Find what, the distance for. Fight. No matter what. Second shot, guys, let's go. We have to finish this round. Oh, oh. Well, Jacare Souza busted and battered, but not broken. 
I know you're no judge, but Souza might need a finish here to preserve his standing in the top five. He needs a finish or a 10-8 round easily. Like, he needs a good five round here. Jacare looking tired. I'd like to see him get a takedown. If he can get a takedown and maybe burn the clock on Hermanson, that would be money. Fifth and final round. Hermanson right back to work, closes the distance on Souza. Burn the clock, control the positioning, look for submissions, be nonstop offensive. It's the last round. Early takedown, 13 seconds into round five for Hermanson. Hermanson just looking much fresher. That's what we're seeing. He's being first, and he's looking more fresh right now. Jock Ray did a great job getting up. Nice throw. He's got the arm there. Hermanson certainly not sitting on that lead, hanging out right in the pocket, staying busy. I mean, how about Jock Ray? So, so 39 years old, been fighting forever, still doing five round fights with incredible. I mean, the toughness, the durability, the, this guy's amazing. Both these guys are throwing down, and it's fun to watch. Souza made his pro MMA debut back in 2003. When I was graduating high school. <laughs> Don't make us old guys feel older than we are, please. Oh, you guys are tough. Souza eats a right hand. He's got to go. If you're Hermanson, are you thinking about risk management at all? If you're Hermanson, you don't change anything you've been doing. You keep the offense up, you keep your punch count up, you throw combinations, you keep the jab out, you keep the footwork moving, you keep the fakes going. Everything Hermanson doing is correct for this style, for this matchup. He's fighting very smart. This is how you have to fight Jacare. You gotta be smart. You gotta be careful. You gotta be patient. And you gotta throw combinations. Hermanson's feet have not stopped moving. He continues to be the more active striker. Souza drops down and lands. Under three minutes now to go in our middleweight middleweight main event. You see, Sosa knows he's he's behind. He knows he needs a big shot landed, but it's almost making him a little desperate. He's loading too much now. Better off just start to the body, finish to the head. There's a nice shot landed over the top. So far, a brilliant performance for Jack Hermanson. A relative unknown in a lot of respects coming in here tonight. Well, this was so hard, man. I mean, you, Jock Ray, how long has he been fighting to get that position? And now Hermanson comes up from not being ranked, and that's how good everybody is in the UFC. I mean, at any time, if you give anybody in any part of this game a shot, they can capitalize and create something from it. And that's what Hermanson seems to be doing tonight. Well, certainly for the fans and fighters who've been paying attention, they know how good Jack Hermanson has been. It's not over yet. I've seen too many one shots walk away, land, away, land in this last round. Don't look, blink. Look at that second round, 108 to nine for Hermanson, and out to a pretty good lead here in round five. Sosa presses forward, rips the body there. There it is, this is what he's gotta do, keep going to the body. Jacare, finish heavy by going to the body. Nice, yes. A lot of heart and toughness from Souza chasing the finish here late. Yeah, he's not stopping one bit in this fight. He's all, he's completely in it. Big right hand over the top from Souza. And if you're Hermanson at this point, you would think the clock is your friend. I know you said don't switch anything up. But... Well, the takedown's coming from Hermanson. He's looking for it. He's gonna be looking for this takedown any minute. Weidman had Jacare on the ropes back in November before Sosa rallied. Can he do it again? Sosa knows he's down. He's, oh. he's been saving. And those body shots are oh. working, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what I was talking about. Can't sleep on Sosa. Prime location on those two right hands for Jacare. Ooh, big uppercut lands for Hermanson there. Oh, these guys are letting it all wow. go. <laughs> big shots landed for both. Dig into the body is Jacare. Level change from Hermanson. He takes Sosa down. A third time on nine attempts. 
That'll finish it out. And that will take us down the stretch of this one. Five rounds in the UFC's middleweight division that you can argue one through 15 has never been stronger. Jack Hermanson likely has done enough to outpoint Jacare Souza tonight. What an effort from Jack Hermanson. What a fight. I mean, look, look how tired these guys are. They just put their entire livelihood on the line to try to get through this fight. They almost died in there. Look at his short shots just right in the pocket. Hermanson's back against the fence, and he just starts firing. And he's able to get inside the big, loopy open guard of Jacare. Then he goes straight to the guillotine attempt after he rocks him with the arm in. Jacare does the perfect thing, turns his back to the mat, gets out of there. Big kick lands, he catches it straight to a double leg. He's able to grind the round out like 100 punches to two because of the ground and pound he's able to accumulate in the second round. Really puts Hermanson ahead. Round three, big body shots start landing and Jacare gets ahead in this round. He really starts ripping up the body so that Hermanson gets the wind out of his lungs and he kind of gets ahead. Almost like Hermanson took this round off in order to get a second win for this round right here. See huge uppercut, he fakes the overhand right, comes up the middle with an uppercut, and then this huge flurry, about 10 punches straight. And I'd say about half of them landed. Five, six punches in a row were landing on Jock Reyes. They backed him against the fence, rocked him. Was able to create a lot of offense in this fourth round and land some huge punches like the Superman punch over the top and another beautiful uppercut that lands by Hermanson. Then this fifth round after all that, they're still going. Another body shot Hermanson eats. I mean, we could do this all night. This is what it looked like. Rock'em, sock'em robots. These two meeting in the middle, punching each other's lights out, earning that title. Perfect time takedown for Hermanson. That pretty much for me finishes out the round probably in Hermanson's favor. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46. 48-47 and 48-47 for the winner by unanimous decision, Jack the Joker Hermanson.